Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare Binance with Coinbase. The first thing I'm going to compare our fees, then I'm going to compare what kind of coins they offer and then I'm going to compare ease of use, like which one I actually recommend. So let's start. Now when we would compare the fees, Binance is completely dominating Coinbase. You can see it right here that I'm not going to compare uh, the Coinbase, retail Coinbase, which is really expensive. Like when I come here to buy and sell and I would write 1000 euro and preview buy, you can see clearly there's like 38 euro out of 1000. I'm going to compare the fees on Pro Coinbase and also on the market. So when I'm going to buy for 1000 euro, that's only 5 euro fee in Pro Coinbase other than 38 euro on normal Coinbase, only because the Coinbase is retail. On Pro Coinbase, you trade with other people. Now, and let's get back to the fees, why I'm comparing those two, because that's what I recommend for you to do so you actually save money on fees. Now, when you would come here, uh, you see that Binance, less than 50 or more than BNB, you got 0 0.10 only. Now, and also, if you're using BNB, it's even less. And the more you're gonna use, the less fees you're gonna pay. And it's like crazy good because on Coinbase Pro, you see there's like 0 0.50, 10 to 50k, that's 0 0.45. But other than that, like Binance is completely dominating that even if you want to day trade, even when you want to long term hold, I would go with the Binance all the way. Also, another thing is that if you want to use, uh, you can use the link down below in the description and you will save also more than 5% on your trades, on fees if you use the link. So that's another thing that you can do. You don't have it in Coinbase. So that's another plus point. And I'm not paid by Binance to say these things that, oh my God, use Binance. This is the, the truth. Binance is much better with the fees. But when we compare the withdrawal fees, uh, withdrawal fee on Binance is 0 0.80. 80 cents for Europe on Binance, it's 0 0.15 only. But other than that, they are really similar with deposit. It's completely for free with bank transfer. Yes, you can use the bank card, but I don't really recommend using the bank card because there's like 2%, nearly 2% fees, and it's quite expensive. So that's pretty much it. To summarize just the fees, you should definitely use Binance. And when you're going to use it with the link down below in the description, you're going to save even more money uh, because there's like 5% off your fees. Now, so this, these are the fees that I have for you. Now let's talk about the coins. This is another huge advantage to Binance comparing to Coinbase, only because Coinbase, when you come here to portfolio, or to like assets, uh, you don't have any old coins here. On Binance, you have plenty of options to buy old coins because there is one way how you can buy old coins with Coinbase. What you need to do is this, you need to, let's buy Ethereum, then transfer the Ethereum to Bittrex, we all or to Binance or to whatever platform that offers altcoins and buy altcoins. But right now, you are not only going to pay the fee when you're going to pay 0 0.50 on Ethereum, you're going to pay also on Bittrex 0 0.25 to buy altcoins. But other than that, you can do everything on Binance. But there is one disadvantage I see on Binance. Uh, if you want to use it, I'm going to use my wallet here. Overview. And I'm going to show you all, every, like, all the coins here that these are the that I own. But you got plenty for options, plenty of old coins that you can use. The one thing that is like this advantage of Binance that is a little bit difficult to understand. Yes, you got with margin, with futures, with P2P, you can earn. You got everything in Binance, and it's really good. But the learning curve is higher comparing to Coinbase. Um, it is like in the moment when you understand it. Like I'm using Binance for four years, but if when I was starting out on Binance for three years, I think, yeah, three years, it was a little bit difficult to understand. I must agree to that, that Coinbase is easier, but I think the fees is the most important thing here and also the option to buy altcoins. Uh, Binance is a top notch. And listen to me, guys, I'm using Binance for like three years now, Coinbase too. And for me, they are both safe. So even when we compare the safety of both, they're both okay. You can also see the trade and you can go between just convert, the easy way to trade or classic or advanced or margin. See, you can simply convert it. And uh, when you're gonna click trade, you can go to like classic or advanced. And right here, yeah, wait, I'll go to classic. 
and now you simply on the right side you choose yeah i'm going to move my camera now on the right side you simply choose a pair let's go with bitcoin and let's write here euro, euro and i can go euro bitcoin right buy bitcoin at this price how many bitcoins you want and or you can sell bitcoin and voila this is how we do it so binance is like top notch what you can use and what you can do with it and yeah to summarize this whole video okay the fees are much better on binance comparing to coinbase the usability is a little bit worse on Binance and learning curve is higher. I'm going to move my camera again because I like it on the right side. Uh, also, another thing is that yes, the withdrawal fee is a little bit higher on Binance comparing to CoinMeds, but other than that, I would definitely go with the Binance. And when we compare the customer support, it's okay-ish on both. And also, Coinbase in the past had problems with uh, page quality that what would happen is that the, the page would just go down and shut down and you couldn't use it and of course you can use down the, the links down below in the description uh, that you can then save money on fees all then or get ten dollars on coinbase it's completely up to you which you're going to use uh, i recommend using binance and also another thing that i present for you if you're starting out what you need to do is this if you uh, want to buy altcoins or etc or just Ethereum. You don't want to just buy Ethereum on a higher price for the all money that you got in your account. What you need to do is to wait until Ethereum drops to like 1000 and then invest 800 euro. Now it drops to, I don't know, 700 dollars, 700 euro, whatever coin you got there. And then currency, I mean, invest another 800 euro. Just made systematic investments. Don't just buy on one peak and then you're going to get crazy about how much money you actually spent on it, right? So this is the mistake that I see that plenty of doing. They're too emotional. They're like, oh my God, I need to buy Ethereum or Bitcoin right now. What if it goes up or down? I need to buy it. They just buy it. They just refresh, you know, the market all the time. Like what's going to happen? And they just like lost it. So what you want to do is don't put all eggs into one basket. But what you can do is to put systematically all eggs into one basket. That's like possible strategy too. Risky, but it's possible to get rich. And also it really depends. Do you want to get rich or you want to go systematically rich or you want to get long-term rich? I'm someone who loves ETFs and stocks and I will show you what is my strategy. And maybe you will like this. And if you're watching this, maybe you will like it. So I make full-time income from YouTube and this is the channel that I started because I like to talk about finances and investing. So what I do is that ETF of, let's say that I earn 10K. 1K are my expense, but let's say 10K in profit. 60% of that, I would put to investment. 30% would be down payment for my house. So that's like 6.5K, right? And now 60% of that, I'm investing to ETF. That's like a lot of stocks together in one segment, which is managed by computer, not by human. And that's really great, 60%. Then 30% would be my favorite stocks. And that's like, let's say, or 40, 42% would be my stocks. I don't know, Shopify, Square, Etsy, Wix, and others that I like, like e-commerce, payment processing, and also data. That's what I really like. And then 8% is long-term investing into crypto but stable coins, not old coins. It really depends what you need. And you should like definitely focus on things that can earn you money. How to get earn money from job. Also, side businesses, side hustle, something like that. Figure it out. That's the best way what you can do. I believe in that. And have multiple streams of income. Don't be like, okay, I just got it from day job 1K. I'm going to put it derp, old coin, you know? It's a bad strategy. It's really bad strategy. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.